program. The inner workings of U.S. diplomacy is being put on display for the world to see thanks to whistleblower website WikiLeaks. Thousands of communiques reveal often damning opinions on host countries, including close allies. Among them, seemingly illegal plans to spy on top U.N. figures and the suggestion the State Department New Georgia was planning an attack on South Ossetia before it happened. Our dear Alexei Yershevsky joins us live for more on this. So, Alexei, the inner thoughts of America's diplomats have been laid bare, as we can see. How are they dealing with this massive leak? Well, some of the findings, some of the things revealed by the controversial WikiLeaks website are so cynical in their nature that it's really hard to imagine what steps the American diplomats now have to take to clear their reputation. Uh, now, uh, first of all, uh, it is also a great threat to their work in the Middle East and Muslim countries across the world as some of the, uh, some of the conversations between the American diplomats have strong anti-Islamic statements and it of course, this puts their work in serious danger in the Middle East region and the Muslim countries across the world. Now, um, also we uh, know, according to the WikiLeaks, that uh, basically the converse, in the conversations between the American diplomats, uh, they actually uh, in some way betrayed their close allies. For instance, the WikiLeaks reveals that uh, the American diplomats supported the Kurdish party in Turkey despite openly saying uh, that it wasn't so and despite that Ankara is being one of the closest allies in this region for Washington. Uh, another interesting part of the WikiLeaks revealings is that um, the, uh, the secret services in the United States were ordered to spy on several uh, very key UN figures. For instance, they uh, were trying to acquire the credit card numbers, tap their cell phones and get, uh, acquire their uh, fingerprints and things like that. And some of the uh, things revealed by the WikiLeaks um, have a very uh, absurd, uh, absurd uh, scent about them. Uh, for instance, um, the U.S. diplomats were sending out letters to uh, Western diplomats, to European diplomats, uh, concerning the uh, U.N. General Assembly. So when uh, the uh, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, when the Iranian president had to, uh, was to speak, uh, they received instructions on how and when they should have left uh, the U.N. General Assembly hall. Uh, and one of the situations was uh, really funny because uh, as a member of the Swedish delegation, according to the WikiLeaks website, received a letter from uh, the U.S. diplomats saying that he had to leave the hall when Ahmed, Mahmoud Ahmadinejad was to mention the Holocaust issue. So the Iranian president didn't actually mention this issue, so the Swedish diplomat was perplexed as to what to do next, so he didn't know whether he had to leave the room or stay inside, so this uh, indeed created great confusion for him. All in all, we know that uh, the WikiLeaks website, the controversial website, is to publish uh, an overall of uh, almost a quarter of a million uh, different uh, files and um, different conversations of the American diplomats. And we're yet to see what other scandalous uh, things uh, the WikiLeaks is to, to publish. And of course, we'll be keeping track of that. Now, let's see for the first time information was released to a Russian media outlet. Any specific revelations there? Yes, we do know that the WikiLeaks website is providing information to several uh, magazines and newspapers across the world. The Ruski Reporter, the Russian Reporter magazine, is no exception to that. We know that the website uh, has supplied the magazine with uh, very interesting information concerning the uh, South Ossetian War of 2008. Uh, the WikiLeaks reported that uh, the uh, American ambassador to Georgia at that time, John Theft, who is now an ambassador of, US, of the United States in Ukraine, uh, knew... Uh, some 24 hours before a Georgian bomb started falling on South Ossetia, that uh, the Georgian missile complexes were moving towards the South Ossetian border. And later on, some several days after that, he contacted Washington uh, on how to start a, an information war, an information campaign to clear Saakashvili's name, as if anybody uh, doubted that Saakashvili was, to, uh, was involved in that attack. And he... Um, we also know that uh, uh, the WikiLeaks reported that several countries, including the Baltic states and Poland, who openly uh, supported Georgia in that war, uh, also knew that it was Saakashvili who started this attack on South Ossetia, uh, but obviously tried to neglect that fact. Uh, also, the WikiLeaks are uh, reporting uh, that several uh, U.S. diplomats were talking about uh, different world leaders in Europe and in Russia discussing on how and who is running the country. In particular, they discussed uh, the power tandem in Russia, the Putin-Medvedev 
uh, collaboration, uh, talking about who is actually in charge of all things here in this country, and saying that it was probably Putin who, uh, despite that he's prime minister, that he is running uh, Russia uh, in Moscow. Uh, indeed, uh, first of all, th this is not a surprise uh, to many, because this was something we could read in uh, the Western magazines and newspapers uh, from, for a very long time. Uh, but second, uh, indeed, these statements from U.S. diplomats came in the George W. Bush era, era in 2008 and earlier than that. Now we have the so-called reset of relations between Washington and Moscow. So uh, it is uh, quite possible that the opinions among the uh, U.S. diplomats are quite different right now. But indeed, uh, this is, uh, we have to see what uh, the reaction of the U.S. diplomats on those reveals.